in, in it was without the same big conflict in combat. What's the advantage? Well, I think the first, you know, just as you were saying earlier in the show, we're over here you know, rattling our sabers for to to take on another country. And remember, I was in Iraq the first 10 days after we stopped, you know, bombing it, trying to rebuild the country with no exit plan at all and no strategic foresight as to what we were going to do with this place. And so having had boots on the ground, and right now i got skin in the game. My son is deployed halfway around the world defending this country, wearing a uniform just like I did. As a matter of fact, working in the same kind of um, warfare that I did 20 years ago. You know, being in endless wars is not what great nations do. Great nations need to be the peacemakers. They need to be the role models. They need to be the ones that take the take the world out of constant warfare. Good luck. I can give you all the advice I got. It won't make a difference, but do use a lot of radio and meet a lot of people. TV is very hard to get on, but getting on radio is a lot easier. Social media, there's so many ways to meet people now, but you know, you seem to got the energy. And that could be it. The difference between you and the other guy. Thank you so much. You got the energy in the book. Thanks, Go for it. Thanks Thanks for having me on, Chris. I'm glad you came on. Thank you, Colonel. Jim Kim Olsen knows what she's talking about. Up next is weird. Big fish. You're watching hardball. This is a situation of hate and hate, not the player. This is a power play. This is a strategic... She's amazing. We have more breaking news. It's Tuesday in Washington.